but it starts somewhere and the best place for it is going to be in a 2v2 but folks it's map number two team ryan versus team colin team ryan up 1-0 this is a must win match for them if not they probably will be out of the tournament but we'll find out here we go in round number one, you see the typical strategy, two towards B, three towards the middle. The guy that is usually capping home hills in this situation is going to be identical to Kenny Bounce. They don't even cap the home hill off the initial that you can see they're in the fight. So it's a 2v2 and a 3v3. Luckily, you get praised on your team. You get two instant kills. The Vexies identical. They're trying to make what okay, can happen in the middle. It's going to be Kenny and another one of his teammates going to secure that B. But on the other side, Team Ryan are secure middle, secure that home hill. And this is what's going to be called a double initial situation situation as well. This is a very action-packed first round. The Vexies is trying to get in. He's going to be able to clean up the kill on Kid Kenny, but Powers is there. He's trying to square up with his teammate, and Powers says, yeah, I know that bounce all too well. And now he's looking down Franchise, looking to try to take this 1v1, but Fran connects with a beautiful shot. Two clean, crisp shots on the Powers there, so he's going to end up having to push through and try to push out his teammate Icy. Yep, he's actually doing some really good shots, especially with the help of Choche. I see going down. You see Fran, he should be able to at least clean up one of these kills. Help coming by from Identum. He's clean up another one, getting flanked by Braze. Braze, we saw him get a double kill in the beginning, trying to make it happen again. He's finally going to get taken out with the cross, even though Team Ryan didn't have the best start off the initial. They were able to do a double initial and capture it back. And for those of you guys at home don't know what a double initial is, is you do your initial strategies, and if players from each team are kind of wiped off the map in an even fashion, even though you saw Team Colin get the cap, you run that same initial down the middle, down B ramp again, until you're able to get control, or at least until one team gets control. It's interesting seeing Franchise and Mental work together on one half of the map, because I'm always used to seeing them go against each other. But I know some fans out there are like, that's a pretty combination, one that we, we're happy to see. And that's what beauty about Fight Night. You know, you guys may be fans of different players on different teams, and, you know, they're all together on one roster. I hope some of you guys out there feel that way and get to see them work together in synergy. And who knows, maybe, maybe some of these teams can build some relationships going into the next time. What I've noticed so far, there's always one team just going at all times. And, and I think that's what can contribute to this being as much of a bloodbath as it is. It's yeah. going to be Team Ryan trying to lock down that double home hills, but with only 12 second respawn times, you're going to have to slay them out time and time again if you're going to look to recapture these. All right, entering phase two of this round, been back and forth so far. A home hill set up in favor of Team Ryan, but Kenny looking to get to the home hill. He's going to have two other teammates with him, but now 2v2 fight. Turned into a 2v1, and Team Colin gets their home hill back. Three players fall from Team Ryan. The B hill and also in favor of Team Colin. We'll see if they want to sit into a two cap or put some pressure for the home hill. And you see, I think that Dezo pushing straight across mid-map. He may be too far into enemy territory. He's going to cut back, try to cause some commotion here. But we'll see if he's in too deep. Yeah, I like what Fran did right there. He trusted his teammates able to get that touch on the hill. All he had to do was get him full red. That gave Vexies what he needed to make that push. Choche, he's going to continue that and take it out praised as well. A lot of double home setups. But uh, to me, I, I want to see them kind of focus on B just a little bit more to make it a little bit more of a cleaner play. But with their teammates already grabbing B, franchise on the home hill of C as well. All the points going in favor of Team Ryan, especially with more kills like that praised. He's going to have an uphill battle. He's going to get one in franchise. He's going to pick up that meat. That should allow him some free damage on Vexi. Hits a nice shot, but Vexi, he's going to bounce around. Who's going to come out on top of Vexi? He's going to go ahead and embarrass Praise there for just a moment. Man, Vexi connects with the back gate. Two more players in front. Has some lamp support coming from Fountains from the rest of his squad, but he's still deep in it. But he's going to finally fall. I did is try to make something happen, but they both go down. Just the A hill in favor of Team Ryan. B hill's neutral. Team Colin needs to get in there. This is still round number one, folks. No power weapons on the map. Oh, ooh, that's a trade. That was big. If Mexico could somehow get that, that is big. Hill being decapped, Team Colin. They're only ones getting points right now, but just like two hills are look like they're gonna go in the favor of Team Ryan. B was decapped for a second. This is big for Icy. He needs to go clutch. Does he have ice in his veins? <laughs> Not currently. Ooh. Yeah, this, this, this is a heated map. Nobody got ice in their veins right now. Vexies, man. Staying alive on it. You know what? If if I had to say, if Fran had a superpower in Gears of War, 
it's that when his back's against the wall, whenever I see his team being down a map, I feel like France steps up to a different level. Yeah, you know? that's something I've always I, I can agree with that. Something I've always said is like Fran is not going to be the superstar on the team mm -hmm. unless his superstars aren't performing. That's when you see Fran start to step up. He does what Lead he needs to example. do. Yeah, he, he allows he doesn't allow his players to have a bad game, but he's kind of like I'll I'll pick it up this game. You know, you can go ahead and get back into the next game. And that's something I'll always give Fran credit for. Exactly. And so we see him. He was turned up in that round one. Not I was about to say nine kills on the board, but he had six in that one. 13 kills, six downs for a Vex. He's praised. They had nine and four downs. Lots of action. And uh, we're going to see the block go uh, on welding and fountains. And I respect it out of Team Colin. You know, they know Idinas and Chochi on the other side. Idinas loves those Botox, and he's playing, I believe, uh, at those welding and fountains. Or his, at his old ghost gaming position. Ooh. Oh, I really thought Kyle should get that. He needs to go big. He's not going to be able to get it taken out. Four dead on the side of Team Colin. Kenny Bounce is going to die as well. So that's five dead. Going to look for Team Ryan. going to need the opportunity here to kind of pressure towards they Team Colin. Oh. So right now, they, they need to not only get a touch, but they need a decap as well. Dezo, he's going to be the first one in. He's going to be the first one out. Praise, he's going to do what he can. Take it out. Touch for a moment. Did come out. The break. Praise, he's going to get another one as well. He's finally going to be taken down by IT. He's going to go and trade with the Vexies as well. Powers Icy. Two freaks on the sticks, saving the round for Team Colin. Now Powers, he sees Fran is still in enemy territory. Idenis is going to stay over there as well, and they both fall. Now Team Colin putting their foot on the gas. Powers tries, and he knows that his team has a two-man advantage for now, but can he make the most of it? Majority of players are stacked up on a home hill, so Team Colin says, hey, let's get B, let's get A, let's slow it down, back up just a little bit, and figure out where this next push is coming from. So you're going to start seeing players get some marks out, Get a head count as well. Praise get saw the mark on the Vex. He was able to come through the flank and close and pick him off. So now Team Colin is eyeing his home hill. Here we go. Looks like smokes are going to come out. That's where the flooding is going to begin. Franchise, he's trying to do what he can. Taking out one. If he gets one more, it, that's good right there. Even though he did get to trade or Praise able to trade off on that one, that's good for his team because they're on his side of the map. Forcing the players back. IT trying to do a little bit of trickery. Gets the down. Unable to pick up the kill. That's going to leave Kenny. He, he, he needs to go ahead and get this kill on Choche before the decap comes in. But he, he needs to do it quick, especially with shots coming out for him. Choche, he's going to go down. Kenny, I didn't he's staying alive. Top table. That's why he really, Kenny couldn't move in that position. Three players there. Kenny's just trying to get one player weak so he can try to make a play happen. But I didn't top table is being a nuisance. Kenny just want to see if he can pick up the kill off the ground. And the New Bounce Brothers together on top of the B-Hill for the All-Star match. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling good, Powers a bounce brother. Ooh, let me have it. Okay, okay. I, I think Powers is one of these new age. And he, he just needs a little bit more experience. He's probably going to be one of the best players in the game. He will. But when you're going against players like Idenums, he's trying to trick him around. He's one of those players that is known for it. his abnormal movement, always catch him off guard. Going up against Praise, somebody who is pretty good fundamentally. I would say Powers learned a lot from the Echo Fox to Rise Nation transition, uh, from how, how he was on that team and, and how Echo Fox ran to uh, be on a roster like Rise Nation. Uh, I, you know, I feel like he works better on a roster like Rise Nation, more players that uh, he can kind of connect with, more rel relatable to, in a sense. Uh, a lot of them are younger as well. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and they, you know, and the roster's good, right? You know, every team that Powers has, has been on, he's improved and. Uh, Rise Nation, man, they've been on a, a on a beautiful run leading up into the last event of the season. If they can make that Cinderella story, it'll truly be something special here to watch. Braves are trying to get count home. There needs to be a decap coming out. Multiple members from Team Colin. He looks like they're going to fall. Make that a third. Make that a fourth. Dezo is going to do what he can, but there's no hills in their favor. There you go, Team Ryan. Yeah, there's nobody going to be able to respawn, but you know, we talked about Rise Nation. And we were talking about it beforehand. Rise Nation, in my opinion, is going to be one of the few teams that have upset potential going against OpTic for this last Boston event. I, I do believe Rise Nation has what it takes. Like I said, Avexis, Powers, and then even players like Detox somehow get forgotten. That's how good this team is. Man, I'm uh, Team Ryan. Okay, PR, who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for any of these teams in this matchup? Uh, if you had to pick one. Uh, 
And to me, Team Ryan, just for the uh, tiebreaker scenario, it would make Same. us securing number one spot a lot easier for Team PR. So I'm just looking at it at different angles. Although I do think Colin has the number two team. It, I wish the best for my boy Kenny Bounce. I'm just trying to be, you know, Phil Jackson of Gears of War right now. Yeah, Team Team Colin is one and one. So the reason why we're going over these scenarios is because the two teams with the best record will be playing on Fight Night next week in the All Star Championship. Five grand on the line, winner takes all, a thousand per player. So if Team Colin was to lose this. They will be sitting at one and two, while Team Ryan is one and one. But you know, if your team, you know, happens to be my team, we could have a three-way one and two tie, where you know it'll have to come down to rounds, and we'll have to be looking for league outs on that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cat's gonna be sweating on those numbers, but. As we see now, Team Ryan comfortably sitting in the lead. They're going to be able to pick up this power weapon as well. Looking for another trip cap domination. Pressure on the home hill. Kenny finds one, but there's the boom shot. A back is looking for praise, and they trade. And that that trade was beautiful. It was actually basically what kind of one of it. He even goes down or even lasts just a little bit longer, even without the trade. His teammates in there with an opportunity to get the touch. Because of that perfect timing on the trade, no one was able to get the touch and prolong the round. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was that kill. As soon as he killed that player, no uh, no members of Team Collar was in the hill. The trip cap domination came on the other end of the map. And so what happened, you know, that that player on Team Collar needs to die, and he did, and a perfect scenario worked out for Team Ryan. 23 kills and 10 downs for Vexy's own foundation. God. In three rounds. Turn it up just this week. Three rounds. This is basically the warm up for his scrims. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Make sure you get those boys on Ryan Station to follow. Give all our All Star players a follow. A lot of great players coming in from multiple teams across the league. Rise Nation, Optic Gaming, Team Reciprocity, Ghost Gaming as well. All out here being represented, as well as Simplicity. Then it's just not stopping against powers. Gets torqued across the map by Kenny. That's already you know, two boom shot for him. Is right there. It's mental. I think Power saw the end of the boom shot. That's why he's choosing to back up. He doesn't want to go for the cap. He's trying to, in my opinion, if he does go for the cap, he's trying to bait something out. But he's actually going to choose to rotate around the map. He does know these respawn timers are getting longer and longer. It's going to make every kill more valuable than the next. Currently, we are 18 seconds on a respawn timer. Oh, they know that Frey is going to be in the corner. The smoke goes out and will stun him, but he's trying to just keep dodging shots. Finally gets hit with one, but Powers comes on the flank. He's able to pick up one, looking for the revive, trying to fake out Identus, but oh my God. he gets it done, and he saves his teammate as well. That's two members down of Team Ryan, but they have the boom shot, and they managed to get two kills in the third as well. So just that quickly, the numbers flip going in favor of Team Kyle. It's really crazy how quick the tide can turn. Mental versus Icy, former teammates. Mental can be able to come out on top. So another hill going in their favor. This is going to be their first point on the board. Finally, I do believe Kenny is taken out as well. I believe a minute has been off the clock. So roughly, I want to say around 45 seconds for the next couple of weapons. That's going to be Boom and Torque Bow that are going to respawn. But will it even make it that far? Team Ryan going in, threatening with a triple cap. They're forced to bounce around and make smokes happen. And they're continuing this kills. That's mental. Two kills for him. And I always talk about Team Collins in this situation. They need to get trades. And I don't think anybody's going to be in a position to even get those trades off for the team. But as I say that, I see he's going to go down for that decap on B. I think it's a little bit ill-advised. Maybe he should have helped his team on the home end because they're getting slaughtered out as well. Dezo spawning up. I don't think he's going to be able to get a touch. Team Ryan, 4-0, to zero, steamrolling. Map number two. Man, where did Team Colin at whooped my team's butt last week? That's what I need to know. Where are those boys at? Okay, because they they non-existent currently. They're I can't find them. All right. Team Colin must win game for them to kick off fight night. Can they make the comeback? Colin, you're going to have to give them one of your motivational speeches. I'll start typing those DMs right now if you want a chance for them to come back. Hit the speed dial. Team Colin, they need to make something happen now. We're entering 20-second respawn rounds. We got a torque boat and a boom shot on the map. We're going to see 3v3 fights in the middle, 1v1s in the, in the top lane and the bottom lane for torque boat and grenades. Denzel goes down right away. Mental trying to make something happen on that kill. Can't get it in. He gets some damage down. But Icy trades off. 
And here comes Team Colin looking to get something going. Powers. A nice cross coming out. Mental is going to be for Red. Should go down. I don't think anybody's going to be able to save him. Franchise getting that kill on Icy, trying to trade off the best they can. He's going to come out on top on that exchange. Kenny's going to be able to take out Choche as well. So for just a moment, this round is going to pre pre prolong just a little bit more. Franchise with the boom shot taking out Kenny. And that's the, it's not the worst thing that can happen if you're Kenny. You know, at least you know there's one boom shot off of the map. Mm -hmm. But now all the position is going to so, go. Sometimes making, making your opponent waste a boom shot is the, the smartest play. Like that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful work there by Praise. Getting that back roll. And now he stays alive. No more boom shots in the hands of Team Ryan. But Idenis with the torque bow, he's going to miss that one. And Praise has found a window to make push. Ooh, Fran waiting for him though in that engagement. 1v1. Team Reciprocity versus Team Reciprocity. And Icy comes out on top. Chote trying to get to the H, put himself in a better position to hold off this. He turns it into a 1v1. Now it's back into another 1v2 against him. Oh, the bows get thrown. And Icy is going to connect with that melee. Be healed in favor of Team Kala. So they stay alive. They don't have their home hill just yet, but they need to turn this one around. And they can do it because last week we made, we were down 4-0 against Team Ryan and we made the comeback. The, the problem I'm seeing right now is, is not to start a rivalry between these two teammates, but Franchise is outperforming Icy in the majority of these fights right now. And I, I think Team Ryan is doing that part right. Their leader is, is taking out a main portion of Team Colin's slaying ability. So, and then that allows Mental and Avexis to continue doing what they're doing right now. So, you know, like I said, not to cause a rip, but Franchise is outperforming Icy. Well, I think Icy might be the better FIFA player, though. Ooh. Don't tell that to Franchise, though. Forget about Gears. <laughs> That's a real one right there. Don't tell it to Fran. Icy trying to connect that shot. Just barely touches Mental though. The home hill setup going in favor of Team Ryan. And Team Kyler trying to get something happening up the middle. They're, they're trying to find an opening to push through. Ah, uh, can they get it in? It's a 1v1 Kenny of Vexi. Reinforcements come through. Nades in the hand of Mental. So they need to be wary of it. Praise is going to have to be careful when he goes for the Z cap. Because Mental should be by the statue area, I believe. But yeah, I think he rotated those nades out. Trying to see he's too close. He gets nades, he gets boom shot. How is Team Colin kind of letting him get away with these type of moves right now? Icy and another exchange with Franchise. I'll let you guys watch who won that one. The round's looking like it's gonna be over because Team Colin E. Oh, if he could have connected with that ball, he would have lined up for a double. The blind fire does connect on mental though. With multiple power weapons on the ground, but it's not gonna matter because Team Ryan once again. They get it done, and they go up 5-0, looking to win both their games on our final round robin play of fight night for the All-Star Series. Yep, very, very interesting match. Five rounds in, 26 kills, 15 downs for Vexies. The, the kills don't surprise me from Vexies. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that he's able to run around this map, not only get kills, but get 15 downs for his team. Yeah. I talked about map number one. I want to see these players and these teams kind of bring out their Lancer just a little bit more. I think Vexies was kind of listening. All right. <laughs> 26 kills and 15 downs. <laughs> That's what I want to see out of Vexies in Boston. Drix, you better hold him accountable. Keen, take take this clip. Take this matchup and say, hey, I want you playing like this at all times. Maximum static against your teammate powers on the other end. Ooh, Mental. It didn't even look like Mental got stunned. Just kind of went in there on the cross, taking out powers. But Team Colin showing some life here. I see Dezo getting some kills, but if Vexies, Ooh. can he get a kill? Oh, oh my god, my take god. it out, Dezo. He's still going, oh, though. He wants a double. Says, yo, Icy, where you at? Where are you? Please get it. Oh. Come on. I know we had we had our guy at social was like, I want him to hit this clip. Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready to clip it and tweet right, it out. Right there. If, if Choche stays alive and kind of wastes Kenny's time there just a little bit more, I could see him somehow coming out on top of that exchange. Kenny's Lancer did a lot more than some people might Give it credit to, but he's quickly picking up that torque bow. It's a boom shot, torque bow in the hands of but Team Colin. Also, for our new viewers at home, what Vexies just did, that is very hard to do. You know, some people look at gears and be like, I could do that. No, you can't. That's years of mechanical, that's like, that's multiple years of practicing the small mechanical skills that you need uh, to be able to walk down, cancel, move, 
can also aim that accurately. That, that's very hard to do. Yep. Craze. 18 kills, 8 downs, 18 deaths as well. Can he bounce a mentor for the use for his team? Franchise being taken out mentally. But for Red, they're around the corner. This easy pickup of kills. 14 calling. Two members are down. They just need to take out the He's Not let him go big. Five dead on the side of Team Ryan. Team Colin is finally on the board That's with their what they first need. round. You don't want to go down 6 up. It, it, the part that I think sucks about that is, is the round that you finally win is the round that goes into halftime. Mm-hmm. So it gives yeah. you one less weapon placement on the map. And it's good to at least have, have two going in, but also the way the map was set out, was set up, you don't get another look at that when you finally get things yep. going. Everything gets reset. And what I was seeing earlier, especially too, with the Vexies and his movement on how hard that is to do, also I want to say that that's not the only play style you know, to play in Gears of War. Because I know even over 12 years of me playing Gears, you know, I still can't move like that, right? But I said, it's okay, I'm gonna adapt a slower play style and instead of going for wall bounce, and I go more so on the strafing side of things, which is just as effective, if not the kryptonite to that play style. So I always want players to know that, you know, the players who wall bounce uh, heavily, that's their play style, but it's not the only play style in Gears of War that can be successful in your championship. Under find yours, because everybody's just different. Yep, same with same. I was really about to say that you just need to find you, what you know, you know, style works for my you. you. Yeah, it's saying it, right? And that works for Kenny as he takes out Identums. You see the rest of his team coming to back him up. One of them team getting killed. Force these players to you. You see two members kind of getting the kill. Kenny, he ill advised Shaka play right there. I would like to see him Lancer just a little bit more. That's going to allow Franchise to pick up a double kill. Three dead for Team Colin. That's going to give Team Ryan opportunity to take over the map. Go where they want to go. You see Icy all by himself at E in a 1v2 situation. And on the other side of the map, it's a 4v3. Team Colin does have the favor for their home. Now, cool. 2v, 3v1, one player down, Choche uses smoke, it might get him up, might buy him some time, and no it does not, so. But you know, you see players who, who know that death is coming, they swap to their smoke grenade very quickly, so when players approach, they can detonate it in their hands, stun them, and buy themselves a little more time to self-revive and get back into the action, or buy enough time for teammates to come help, or get to another heal across the map if they're in threat of trip cap domination. But we saw the pressure come in for Team Colin, and they're looking like they're getting some synergy. Three of those members just fall. I'm lost. What happened, PR? Icy made it. I'm thinking in my head, Icy made a really good rotation getting away from E in that 1v2 situation. But Praise and Dezo kind of spawned up and went towards E. So then at that point, you have the team just trying to go all in for, for two hills on 12 second yeah. respawn. So you just got to pick one hill and go for it. But if you're Icy like that, you can go ahead and make these plays. You get another double kill for your squad. Dezo. Oh, oh the the no man can he get the down? He does. That was big key. That was a, that was a key Lancer play there. What was that? Franchise? Understanding that. If he comes off the cover, the guy in front of him has more opportunities to get shots in on him. So he has said, hey, I need to pick one fight and decide which one I want. I want the Lancer fight. That allowed his teammate to get a kill. And the e heal was still neutral in that moment. But it brought Team Collins just enough time to possibly win this round off of points. 20 points needed. One heal in their control. 17 seconds away from winning this round. Home Hill not under threat as of now. Praise is OE on his opponent's side of the match. He's looking for a double kill. Looking to be a nuisance, doing what he does best. And he's going to get a gun. If this hill doesn't get decapped at 207, which is does not, well, 206 technically, then the team will win the round. And Team Colin finds another one on the board. Let's see if Team Colin got what it takes to chain together these rounds. I almost want to see them throw a boom shot middle because they were so dominant with it. But at the same time, you kind of want to let it play out. So I, I could see both sides of that coming out for Team Ryan. But like a, like I said, boom shot middle, you're winning the fight. There's no reason to kind of stray away from it. Plus, if you throw the boom shot middle, true. you know the fight is going to go down there true, up true, until true. another big power weapon is placed similar. Like I think the drop shot would be the only other weapon I can see teams favor. All right, let's start taking bets. How many kills is a Vex he's going to drop in this map? His teammate Belong had 26. So he was just six away from him. But... Start, start placing your bets in chat. We'll see who gets the closest. You know, maybe maybe we can manifest yourselves an esports tag or something out there, right? We'll see. All right. 
the perfect timing on that smoke. And there you have it, Team Colin. And third straight round showing some life. Five dead for Team Ryan. Boom shot in the hands of Icy. This this should be a triple count as long as nothing goes wrong. They they gotta they gotta get at least one kill with these two boons. So they do get one. They need to see if they can save this last boom shot. Now they gotta work with their with their shotgun. And it's gonna work out for them. Team Colin three in a row for now. Looking good for them. Trying no. to get this comeback going. Hey, they got something working for them. They found that sweet spot. If they can get to 5-4, well, currently right now we're back in the game, right? But I think 5-4 would be a little bit better because if Team Ryan gets a 6-3 on match point, it's, you know, it's going to be so difficult. They're going to have all the pressure kind of off their shoulders at that point. When one team gets a 6 and, and, and gears east for it, it's, I like you know, you're in a good position. Too, though. If, if it slows down, whoever has a sniper does have the upper hand. <laughs> Assuming assuming Boom's not in play or yeah. maybe used, uh, it, bring, it brings up towards that side of the map. Oh, we no. see a lot of teams go for home hill setups on buildings and fountains off the home hills in the second half. So if you do find yourself in a difficult position like that in late game, you got that sniper to kind of break some of these setups. Icy gets first blood. Now Team Collins, they need to work their advantages. They need to not lose any other players. And Powers and Praise response. Choche needs to stay alive. Uh-oh, him versus Kenny. He says, Kenny, I didn't hit your number all day. But for some reason, you're not picking up. That should be another triple cap coming out for Team Collins. Round after round, boom shot in the hands of Icy. Quick boom shot kill. No one's really in position to get the next touch because of the boom shot and the timer as well. Like you said, five to four. Team oh, Collins oh, oh. right back in this one. <laughs> oh, man, you love to see it if you're a fan of this roster. The comebacks. At this point, Ryan is just, just scratching his head like, what's wrong with Foundation? You know, I got some <laughs> of the best layers in the game. Why can't we get Foundation? Vexy's used up all his gas early on. This is where the X, if, if you throw an X on the side of welding, it's going to be a very, very similar fight as first half. You throw an X there, that's going to allow Kenny and Choche, the two typical players who are playing that spot, to be more lenient in how they want to play it. They're not forced to kind of guard the weapon. They can try to escape through open. They can try and play a little bit more back and passive because there's no weapon there to grab. That's going to allow them to kind of be creative and continue what they are doing. All right, we got a sniper on the map. We got a boom shot on the map. I do like the block. The reason why is that if a team does find themselves in a home hill setup, there's not even needs or incense there on the pissing side to work at, which means that if a team gets in that setup, that they have to come out to play for the other power weapons on the other side of the map. So the way the map is set up, uh, home hill setups will get broken just based off of time alone, depending on which point in the rounds it happens. But I see again with first blood and praise responds. Both working together, and Icy finds another. Uh, Denim's taken out as well for dead. I do believe Choche did. No, he actually did with the exchange against Kenny, so Kenny's still alive, able to chase this one. Who is that off respawn? That's going to be Dezo off respawn. Opportunity to grab F. If, if Boomshot, I was going to say, Boomshot's still in play. They can easily can solidify this round. Oh, Ooh. coming up a little short. But, hey, he got the damage and power to get a clean Boomshot kill. Don't do it to him, Icy. Icy. Oh. But you see, but you see how he turns around and the patience from mental, because he knows that players tend to cut back like that when they're full red, because that's their best opportunity to run in the open area. But mental had the patience with the lancer, knew Icy was looking for uh, to looking, you know, to cut back on him, and he got that kill. Little small engagements makes the difference on, you know, if you you know place top eight or win a championship, you know, whatever you know your uh, your goals are. Hopefully, she'll always be winning a championship, but, you know, some people need to just get the top 12 first. <laughs> this is, it's going to get tricky for Team Ryan right here. They're going to be the team forced to make the push, but with Sniper on the map, that gives them an extra option. Do we wait for Sniper and we can make this push before the boom shot is up? Or you can choose to do something else. So this is what I was saying. The home hill setup will be forced to be broken by Colin. All Team Ryan has to do is wait for the respawns, right? And they're going to start killing some of these players off the respawn. Uh, so they're being annoying in a home hill Team Colin. But Team Ryan knows that we don't have to push you guys. And they really shouldn't push if they don't want to. But they're going to go to try to end this one. Dennis is caught between a rock and a hard place, taken out by Praise. Another member for Team Ryan is going to go ahead and flood towards Kenny. Kenny not able to get out on top on that one. Mental with the sniper, that means the boot shot is almost up as well. Team Colin is falling all around. Icy left by his lonesome. 
He needs to be able to get this touch and decap as he with Cypher looking at him. He's put full reds by a Lancer. One good shock and shot from Mental. He's going to be taken out. Did he buy him enough time? Dezo, he's actually going to spawn him. He's going to hit too. He's going to get it. Yes, he is, but he gets taken out as well. And Mexi with the, the home hill. Did the home hill will go back in favor of Team Kyle, and they're still in this one. Oh, my bad. Cast is cursed. Look good. It looked good. Oh, that was a nice back A. He connected with that too. There it is. Now it's in play. And Team Ryan finally closed it out. Worked out to be a good push in the end. And it was their home hill in which, they, uh, it was actually, it was their opponent's home hill in which they were fighting for. They managed to get the solo kill on their home hill across the map. They managed to get the power weapons and all worked out for them in the end. I wish I could have seen how Icy was kind of caught out of position there. But at the same time, you're either going to stack three side to defend or you're going to stack three to the other side and kind of push out if the other hold or the other uh, hill is getting pushed. I would like to see that happen from T. Colin, play the rotations game. Mm. They had a big enough score. Weapons were going to be up as well. So the team is going to be able to fight for the home hill while you're rotating for another hill slash boom shot. All right, here we go. 35 for Vecchi. Let's see who's, who's going to be right in the chat. <laughs> We're about to find out. 35 for Vecchi right now. See how many you can get in this round. It could be the final round, or we could have uh, three, or we can have two more after this one. Vexy is going to be the guy getting first blood for his team. We round and round again with Icy. Dezo Kenny, though, they're going to get the advantage for him. Icy getting one as well. Vexy finds another. <gasps> Icy, five dead. Team Ryan is taken out. Team Colin has an opportunity here. They need this round. He caught him slipping, and now Icy is about to take the sniper to the spine of Team Ryan. And it's his own teammate, Mental, thinking he's going to make it to the hill. <laughs> Not today. Six to five. Another good initial like that. We're at around number 13. Team Colin. The momentum is on their side here this, in this, this is, second half. You know, they was looking good. Hey, you know what? In the last six rounds, or the last five rounds, actually, no, in the last six rounds, for you to win five to one, being down 5 0, that is an accomplishment for Team Colin. Sometimes you have to forget about the first half. You got to forget what happened and just focus all your attention on the second half and say, hey, new game, you know? And the second half strategies are different for most of the maps in Gears Esports. So the second half working out very well for Team Colin. It's all up to this round. Can they go to match point? Will we see another round 13 on foundation? The last round 13, Team Ryan was on foundation last week. They lost it and they were up 6-5. We'll see if it happens again. Set up boom shot this time it is made. And then it's kind of good spot. Vexy, he's put full run as well. Can he able to escape that fight against Choche? He's uh -oh. making an impact. Down. He's down, just like you said. Praise, he's down some on the map. He's finally going to be taken out. They're doing what they can to even up these numbers, but more members of Team Ryan are going to fall. Choche, he's the last member left on the opposite team's home hill. This is exactly what he needs to do to prolong this round. Oh, he needs to connect, and he will. That's going to have to back Kenny up. Kenny says, I can't get this one just yet. Kenny wants to play for the win. Choche wants to be a hero. Is he wearing a cape, though? Square enough. Here comes reinforcements. But is, did he buy his team enough time on the home hill? It's a question. Your season one MVP. Can he get the kill in time? He falls. It's Team Common. Round 5 holes in the beginning of this map to force the round 13. <laughs> Icy right there. Icy went huge. I was talking about franchise outperforming Icy right. in the head-to-head -head matchup, but it's Icy who is going to make the big plays. I do believe two, maybe three rounds in a row, basically helping Team Colin secure an opportunity here at the comeback. They didn't secure the comeback just yet. They still need to play round number 13, but Team Ryan, opportunity here to place the weapon in which they want. Hmm. Ooh, in bar at Pistons. Now, we're going into a 24-second respawn round. If you die, you probably won't respawn again. The initials are going to be so crucial. Our game changers in the beginning of these rounds have been Icy and Avexis. It's going to come down to one of these guys in the middle of the map to get that first blood. And then, eat, then that team's going to have to have the composure to get the second blood and keep their players alive to keep that advantage in their team. Here we go. Round 13. We're on board with Praise. He's in a 1v1 situation. 
but down low. It's powers with first blood with the response from Team Ryan. They're gonna acquire names as well. Praise trying to catch somebody off guard. Can he get the flank on Identis? Icy goes down also. The kill get cleaned up and Team Colin was looking good. Can Kenny get his team out of this situation? Back A connects but can't get it done. Five members down. The home hill is being capped. Nobody spawned up and Team Ryan finally closes it out and gets one for four. Now, Team Ryan's now one and one. They get a win, baby. So both these teams, Team Ryan is one and one. Team Colin is done. Well, they're not done officially, but that's their last game of our All-Star Series. They're sitting at one and two. They're going to have to hope.